Penn Entertainment, formerly known as Penn National Gaming, is one stock down 79% that you might regret not buying on this dip. I'm going to explain why I think that's the case in this video. You're not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned and let's begin. So Penn Entertainment, uh, during the initial stages of the pandemic, it was forced to close all of its regional casinos. And of course, that caused a significant dip in its revenues. You see here uh, in 2020, revenue declined from a little over 4.8 billion down to 3.6 billion because the casinos had to be shut down temporarily and then once they reopened revenue has rebounded strongly look at this all the way back up to 6.4 billion in its most recent update of course the company has made a couple of acquisitions and so it's not a real like for like comparison here but still it highlights the company's strong rebound from the pandemic devastations and in my opinion Penn entertainment is stronger than before the outbreak one way it's stronger is looking at its revenue. The next way it's stronger is if I show you its operating profit margin here, you can see that Penn Entertainment operating margin over the trailing 12 months has recovered to levels higher than before the outbreak. You see the outbreak here, 2020, operating profit margin was hovering around let's say be let's say at 14 percent it's now bounced up to 17.06 percent and this includes a new segment of its business the online sports book which it has been investing in rolling out that is you know a growth area that's not expected to be as profitable as the legacy legacy casino business the brick and mortar casino business for now and so they've been able to roll this out over the last couple of years and still maintain these healthy operating profit margins for the business overall. Additionally, if you look at Penn Entertainment's cash flow from operations over the trailing 12 months at 878 million most recently and look at the elevated levels in in recent uh, in recent times here since 2021 way higher than where they were at before the outbreak um, look even before this surge they were regularly over the last 10 years below 500 million in cash flow from operations in a trailing 12 month period that's been sustainably above 750 million for a long time now over a year now they've been above this level so just just goes to show of course for um this has happened for two reasons in my opinion number one has been as re economies have reopened consumers have just been unleashing this pent-up demand for away from home experiences and one of those experiences that has been benefiting is casinos both regional casinos like penn gaming operates but also the las vegas casinos have been benefiting strongly uh, as well so consumers have wanted and they've looked for these types of away from home experiences and this is going to persist it has persisted and in my opinion it will continue to persist because of several macroeconomic indicators i look at they all suggest to consumers continuing to uh, look for those types of experiences and that has come at the expense of spending on goods uh, at discretionary goods things like electronics things like uh, gaming consoles laptops tablets those types of things have have experienced big reductions in spending and things like hotels travels resorts gambling restaurants bars um sports part sports uh, uh experiences theme parks those types of things are really booming and pen is in the position to capitalize from that elevated level of consumer demand for the types of experiences that it offers i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to finally, buy now 
the last reason why I think investors might regret not buying Penn Entertainment on this dip is because of its favorable valuation. Penn is trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of 16.34. This is near the lowest the company has been trading at going back all the way, you know, 15 months ago, January of 2022. So you're getting Penn Entertainment, a company that's capitalizing from this unleashing of consumer demand for away from home experiences, and you're getting the stock at a reasonable valuation. So for that reason, I think Penn Entertainment is one growth stock down 79% that you might regret not buying on the dip here. So thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got for this video. I hope I'll see you again next time for another one of my videos.